right in the middle of the pond there, the uh, dog Coda was floating the body and the alligator was circling and nudging him. My thought was to get the body of the dog out before the gator would uh, you know, storm for, for food. Coda wouldn't go for a swim. He wouldn't be, he's not a water dog, he's a husky and they don't, mm -hmm. from what I understand, they really don't swim that much. Mm -hmm. So what he did is he probably went down to the edge of the water to get a drink. And from the markings on the body when we uh, examined it, it looked like he had been grabbed, you know, on the snout. Let's say he put his snout down to the water. The gator just got him on the face and the snout and pulled him in. We always had him on a leash. We took him for walks around the plantation. Occasionally, uh, he would sneak out of the house. If we had a door ajar and weren't watching, he would sneak out if he felt like it and go for a run. And it would, you know, take us 15 minutes to half an hour to catch him and bring him home. This morning, he took off for one of those runs and uh, didn't come back.